administration has followed through on a vow to ban bump stocks, devices used to amp up the firepower of certain rifles, and were used by the gunmen in the 2017 mass shooting in Las Vegas that left 58 people dead. Our Joe Fryer was in Las Vegas when that massacre unfolded and has our report tonight. The Trump administration's move to ban controversial bump stocks comes 14 months after the Las Vegas massacre. The devices allow a semi-automatic gun to fire faster, almost like an automatic weapon. The Department of Justice now says bump stocks fall within the definition of machine gun under federal law, a move foreshadowed by the president in October. We're knocking out bump stocks. I've told the NRA, I've told it, bump stocks a gun. Police say 14 of Vegas gunman Stephen Paddock's 22 semi-automatic rifles were equipped with bump stocks, allowing him to fire more than 1,000 rounds in 10 minutes. 58 people were killed, hundreds injured. You could hear the bullets hitting right next to me. Attorney Brian Claypool survived the shooting and represents other survivors. What's your reaction to the bump stock ban? Huge relief. This is a monumental move. There is no social utility for bump stocks in a civilized society. The ban means owners must destroy or surrender their bump stocks by late March, drawing criticism from the NRA, which told us we are disappointed that this final rule fails to address the thousands of law-abiding Americans who legally acquired bump stocks. The ban now expected to face legal challenges. Joe Fryer, NBC News.